Right now on Apple Valley News Now Live at 5, a fight breaks out at the Walla Walla Prison. What we know coming up. Plus, WSU Tri-Cities and the Richland School District are trying to give more experience to student-teacher candidates. Also ahead, get ready for a major road closure starting Monday in one Tri-Cities city. And Stacy's here. And cooler overcast conditions tonight, but sunshine and a little bit of warmer temperatures on the way. I'll tell you all about it. This is Apple Valley News Now at 5 on your side. Good evening, everybody, and thank you for joining us on this Friday. It is September the 18th, and I'm Austin Reed. New tonight, this video just into the Apple Valley News Now newsroom. Tri-City Regional SWAT and the Pasco Police Department have shut down Irving Street in Pasco due to a large police presence you can see here. Authorities can be seen entering the home after more than an hour. It is unknown at this time who has been arrested. We will continue to update you with more information when it is made available. Other news tonight, the Washington State Department of Corrections says a fight broke out at the Walla Walla Penitentiary on Wednesday. Officials say the fight was around 1 p.m. in the west wing of the jail. According to officials, the west wing is a close custody, meaning a higher level of security is needed for inmates. Officials attempted to break up the fight. When inmates wouldn't comply, law enforcement used pepper spray to get inmates to comply. When the inmates stopped fighting, those involved were restrained and taken back into their cell to get treated by medics. You know, of course, we don't never like to see it happen, but it is prison, of course. Um, Walla Walla, of course, has some of our higher, higher uh, custody or security level individuals in the state. So um, it does happen and, and staff are trained to respond. respond and uh, thankfully, in this situation, we're able to break it up and we didn't see any major injuries. Wright did say that one person had minor injuries but was treated on site. A woman under the influence of drugs steals a police car with an infant inside in the small town of Warden in Grant County, Washington. Police say the suspect was handcuffed behind her back but was able to move her cuffed hands to the front. After that, she moved from the back of the car to the front and drove away. The police car was running, but according to deputies, that is normal. Police eventually caught up with her and boxed her in. As you can see here, one deputy suffered minor injuries and three law enforcement vehicles sustained serious damage. The suspect is a 21 year old of Moses Lake. She's now in custody. We are following up tonight. The Yakima County Sheriff's Office has a new map of the wreckage from a Navy jet crash near Mount Rainier. As teams continue to search for the two crew members, the site sits here at approximately 6,000 feet altitude in a remote, steep and heavily wooded area east of the mountain. Soldiers from the 1st Special Forces Group based at Joint Base Lewis McCord are assisting in the search. The status of the crew cannot be confirmed without a site assessment of the debris area. There are no known hazards to the public. The cause of the crash still under investigation. Pasco Mayor Pete Serrano, candidate for attorney general, is hosting a public safety forum tonight in Seattle. Panelists include Dave Reichart and Dr. Raul Garcia. Serrano will be discussing the public safety crisis across the state of Washington. In Kittitas County, the burn ban will lift this weekend. The Kittitas County Fire Marshal announcing the news today. The burn ban was originally implemented based on dry conditions along with low relative humidity and low fuel moisture content. But firefighters say it has become apparent that with the fuel moisture content currently seen, the relative humidity and projected weather patterns, a burn ban is no longer necessary. The weekend is almost here and October is also winding down. So let's see how our weather is shaping up. First alert, Stacy Lee joining us live in our weather center with a first look at our forecast. Stacy, happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. Feeling a lot more fall like with those cool temperatures. We even see some trees changing out here in our Legends Casino sky cam tonight. Again, uh, we're looking at temperatures uh, much cooler than we saw even yesterday. 61 degrees, a little overcast and breezy. Our camera was shaking just a little bit. Some of those 
those winds are gusting 14, 15 miles an hour. Those should start to die down overnight tonight, but we do have another nice warm front coming in uh, as we get into our Saturday. Uh, temperatures around the area 50s and 60s for the evening. Tonight we're going to drop down into the 30s and 40s, much warmer than we were last night. Remember, most of us were down to that freezing level, so some stray showers still possible tonight and even a few tomorrow. Most of them will stay in the mountain areas. We do have a nice weekend warm up temperatures 10 to 15 degrees above average. Our next big system moves in on Sunday night and we'll have even cooler temperatures next week, just like now. Austin. All right, Stacy, thank you. There is a major closure coming up in Kennewick that we need to tell you about. BNSF is working on the railway crossing on Edison Street. The street will be shut down on Sunday and Monday. This will affect people on their morning commute on Monday. You won't be able to access Kamiakan High School off of 240, so plan accordingly. The main thing to know is that the cross street with Edison and Yellowstone is closed between Sunday at 6 a.m. through Monday at 2 p.m. We do have several detours happening off of 395 is a good way to take, as well as Canal will have some signage to get your way around. We will have updates and reminders all weekend at applevalleynewsnow.com. And of course, we'll remind you again first thing Monday morning on Apple Valley News Now's Good Morning Northwest. WSU Tri-Cities and the Richland School District are collaborating to give more experience to student teacher candidates. At Tapteal Elementary School, there are several bachelor education students who get to participate in learning walks and shadow around the school. The earlier practicum experiences are coming from the WSU Tri-Cities College of Education. These students get to add more skills to their tool belt earlier than others. I didn't get to do learning walks until I was in my 12th, 13th year of mm -hmm. education. And it was like, really? This was all here and I didn't get to see it? So it's, uh, it's a huge gift that you're giving. And the fact that we have about 85% of our students stay in our region, it's benefiting our region. We're taking care of home for decades. So thank you very much. This laboratory school partnership is unique. One student says she's gotten to be in classrooms across Taftiel Elementary School since early September and has gotten access to observe several classrooms and teachers rather than just one. Every, every classroom is so different. I feel like the young ones are just like so, like they want to bond with you, they want to talk to you, and the older kids also want to bond with you, but it's in such different ways. So it's just been awesome getting to know how each grade level is so different, but also so alike. And Mendoza says she's grateful for the experience. WSU Tri-Cities students led many tours of the elementary school to showcase what they have learned. Washington State University kicks off their homecoming weekend today. Student, faculty, staff, community, and alumni are celebrating a pep rally on the Pullman campus this evening. Then tomorrow, the Cougar football team will have their homecoming game. Monique and Riley will be at that game this weekend. Still ahead on Apple Valley News now, live at 5. Looking for something fun to do in downtown Kennewick this weekend? We have just the idea. Also ahead. The campaign trail spotlight turns to Michigan today. I'm Rachel Bade in Washington, and I'll tell you why next. And as we leave you to break, a live shot from our Yakima Skycam brought to you by Bymart. Temperatures in the, eh, around the mid-50s. Stacey Lee is tracking that all-important First Alert weekend forecast that's coming up as well. We're on your side, so don't go anywhere. It's painfully obvious prices have been going up. Inflation is crushing American families, and inflation only has one cause. Inflation in the United States is made in Washington and nowhere else. The real tax on the American people is what government spends. And Dan Newhouse has voted for trillions of dollars in spending. As your congressman, I will vote against massive spending bills. Because Americans can't afford a new house. I'm Jared Sussler, and I approve this message. Here in Washington, we love the word and, like socks and sandals. 
flannels and beanies, wheat fields and mountains. And now with Fund Hub Wa, saving money and helping the climate. Find grants to bring resources and funds to your community. Get incentives to grow your business and transition to clean energy. And discover rebates that will save you money at home and on the go and reduce emissions. Find funding opportunities today at fundhub.wa.gov. Apples are the pride of Washington's agricultural economy. When India put on the retaliatory tariff, we were basically dead in the market. Thanks to Maria Cantwell stepping in and getting that tariff removed, we're up to 2 million boxes and we're climbing steadily. It's a huge difference for the industry. Maria Cantwell is effective because she works with both parties to get things done for our industry. I'm Maria Cantwell and I approve this message because I'll keep taking on powerful interests to get things done. Fall into $140,000 in cash and prizes this autumn at Wild Horse Resort and Casino. We're giving away up to $13,000 in cash and prizes every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Then fall into $10,000 cash during the semi-grand prize drawing on Saturday, October 26th. Keep playing in November for your chance to drive away in a brand new Kia Telluride on November 23rd. Jumpstart your fall at Wild Horse Resort and Casino. More winners more often. For 17 years, Senator Curtis King has delivered for you. That's why the media calls Curtis King the Republican in Olympia most likely to pass a bill. Senator King helped fund the Sozo Soccer Complex, giving local youth and adult soccer players a world-class recreational facility. Curtis King helped Peritech expand, providing thousands of local students with real-world skills. And he delivered funding for dozens of local road projects. I'm Curtis King, and I'd appreciate your vote. Seattle, Calgary, Saturday at 6.30 on MeTV. Apple Valley News Now Live at 5 continues with community events. It is official, a hot mess market in downtown Kennewick. The event is going on right now and will continue until 9 this evening. This is the third and final hot mess market of the season. The co-owner of Hot Mess Burger says they were inspired to do an evening market so people who work could have a chance to go. She also says the market will have a variety of vendors, music and crafts, and everyone is welcome to come on out and support small local business. We're a small business and I mean, in this economy, you know, it's, it's hard and so having being able to create your own items and being able to put your love into something and have people come and buy that from you is a wonderful feeling. And so I know that every vendor who sells something at the market is, is getting that and that's, that's an amazing feeling. If you can't make it out tonight, tomorrow in downtown Kennewick, there will also be a taco and car show at Picante Mexican Taqueria that is from 6 until 9 p.m. The Kiwanis Club of West Valley and Youth Service Leadership Program members will host a cleanup of the West Valley Community Park this weekend. The event is tomorrow, Saturday the 19th from 9 a.m. till noon. Volunteers will pick up litter, trim overgrown brush, and perform other light maintenance and activities. Volunteers are asked to meet at the Central Park Picnic Shelter at 9 a.m. to register and receive an orientation for the day. Turning to your voice, your vote, Vice President Harris and former President Trump spent the day campaigning in Michigan. Trump in Detroit and Oakland County, Harris in Grand Rapids, Lansing and Oakland County. ABC's Rachel Bade brings us more. Democrats who thought Michigan was going to be an easy win for them are now realizing that they were entirely wrong. Harris is now trying to claw back support in the state before it's too late. For much of the summer, Democrats considered Michigan part of Kamala Harris's political firewall, a Rust Belt state they believed they could safely count on to go blue. Not anymore. With Harris's lead dwindling there, Democrats sounding an alarm and Harris moving quickly to shore up her base. I don't assume to have the votes of any demographic locked down. I have to earn their vote. With only 18 days until Election Day, Harris now spending the next 48 hours in Michigan, huddling with union workers in Lansing, speaking with faith leaders in Detroit, and participating in rallies and other get-out-the-vote efforts in Oakland County. The move following a series of Harris policy pitches aimed at the black community, where Trump has made inroads. Look at it in the context of how he actually thinks and talks about black folks in America. 
And now you look at black immigrants, legal immigrants in Springfield, Ohio, and he gets on a debate stage and says they're eating their pets? Come on. This man is dangerous. Trump also visiting Michigan today, heading straight for Detroit, a city that's 80 percent black, even as he insulted the city last time he was there. Our whole country will end up being like Detroit if she's your president. Harris making fun of Trump's remarks in a video played last night during a bipartisan benefit for Catholic causes. Maybe don't say anything negative about Catholics. I would never do that no matter where I was. That would be like criticizing Detroit in Detroit. But Trump continuing to court black men, in much to Harris's chagrin, successfully so. Any African-American or Hispanic, and you know how well I'm doing there, that votes for Kamala, you got to have your head examined. Michigan continues to be a challenge for Harris, and not just because some black men are going to vote for Trump, but because auto workers there are also worried about electric vehicles, and the state's large Arab population is still furious with the administration over the bloodshed in Gaza. Harris, she's got some work to do. Rachel Bade, ABC News, Washington. And like it or not, the 24 election is now a little more than two weeks away. Closer to home with Election Day quickly approaching, Friday marked a big step in Washington state. Ballot drop boxes opened across the Evergreen state, marking the official start of voting in the 2024 election for the state's 4.9 million registered voters. Washington has more than 544 official drop boxes and 67 voting centers, which are administered by county election officials. Voters who have not yet registered can do so online at votewa.gov, but you have to do that until October 28th. In-person registration is also available at county elections offices and voting centers until 8 p.m. on Election Day. In Oregon, the deadline to register to vote in the Beaver State was this past Tuesday. Anyone who registers after that won't be able to vote in the November 5th general election. We have a quick sports note for you. The Tri-City Americans are proud to announce that 2005-born defenseman Terrell Goldsmith has been signed to a three-year entry-level contract by the Utah Hockey Club. Goldsmith was drafted by the organization when they were the Arizona Coyotes, 102nd overall in the 2023 NHL draft. Goldsmith from Fort St. James, British Columbia, is in his first year with the Americans after being acquired in a trade with the Prince Albert Raiders on July the 24th. The city of Toppenish is working with FEMA and the U.S. Small Business Administration to help those affected by the June 22nd through July 8th wildfires. The Yakima Nation Disaster Recovery Center is open from now and until October 25th at Legends Casino Hotel in Toppenish. Staff will be able to provide one-on-one -on -one help during the week only, no weekends. Hours are 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. The center is also accessible to people with disabilities, and they are equipped with assistin assistive technology. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Stacy Lee. Well, the weekend's here. Let's get to that weekend forecast. Again, a little overcast and cool and breezy this evening, 61 degrees. Our Dust Devil Sky Cam showing that traffic moving along and those partly cloudy skies out there. Here's the weather pattern for tomorrow. We have an upper level system, pretty big system actually moving on land. That's going to bring mainly showers to our Cascade Mountains in Oregon and Washington, but some of those showers could slide over. We're thinking most of those will be staying uh, sliding in and staying to the east east of the, or the west, excuse me, of Tri-Cities and the Yakima and Kittitas Valley and most of the moisture heading up north and again impacting the mountains. On Sunday, we have another system that will start to slide in with a better chance of showers in our area. Future cast shows a stray shower moving through Tri-Cities tonight around 11 up towards the Connell area. And then here comes those stray unsettled showers for tomorrow. We're going to be mostly cloudy through the area with the showers sliding through the Yakima and Kittitas Valley. Some of it making down into the lower Yakima Valley 
Valley. Looks like Tri-Cities, Walla Walla, Pendleton and even Hermiston will stay dry tomorrow. But again, a little bit overcast. The good news is we're going to see those warmer temperatures. Here we go with another band of showers coming in uh, Sunday night. Monday is when we're really going to see that chance of rain. So a 10% chance for Yakima tomorrow, 30% chance on Sunday and Monday. Tri-Cities, very little chance Saturday, Sunday. Monday is when we'll really start to see those showers moving in and an 80% chance of showers in Walla Walla staying a little unsettled uh, through the week. Here's the temperature climb we were talking about. We're up into the 70s. Note our average for this time of year 65, so a good 10 degrees, 15 degrees in other locations around the region. And then we'll slide back down into the 60s. So some leftover showers, warmer with light winds and overnight lows tonight. Most everybody staying in the 40s, still a little bit cool in the Kittitas Valley tonight, 36 in Ellensburg. 70s for tomorrow, going to be a lovely day, albeit a little bit overcast in the morning. We should see some sun breaks, especially uh, east of the Yakima Sunnyside area, Tri-Cities, Walla Walla, Pendleton and Hermiston looking for a little bit of sunshine. If you're heading out, take your umbrella to the Seattle area as we see showers Saturday, Sunday and even Monday. It's also going to be rainy and overcast in the Portland area with temperatures dropping to the upper 50s by Monday. And if you're heading north to the Spokane uh, area, going to be a little bit overcast there with showers starting to develop on Monday. Seven day planning forecast, slight chance of those showers on Saturday, breezy winds, better chance of rain moving into Monday. Some cold overnight lows for the early part of next week. Tri cities looking good. Look at those temps in the 70s. Very nice breezy winds. However, cooler temperatures in the 60s next week with a good chance of rain on Monday. Here's what it looks like in Ellensburg. Those cooler temperatures there in the 60s dropping into the 50s and kind of staying there all week long. Chilly overnight lows Monday and Tuesday night. Here's Walla Walla 70s going to be beautiful up there, although a little breezy with those showers really developing on Monday and those temperatures staying in the 60s. Here's Hermiston also very nice weekend ahead. A little overcast, but you'll have some sunshine there. Breezy winds and those showers developing Monday staying in the 60s for the rest of the week. So not a horrible forecast for us. Austin, a little cold for me today. <laughs> I'm feeling it, but I, I'm looking forward to the 70s tomorrow. I am too. It'll be a nice weekend. Thank you so much. All right, we are going to take a quick break. The spotlight when we return. Baltimore battles Tampa Bay Monday Night Football on Apple Valley News Now. First, record inflation slammed middle class families. Now, Jared Sessler backs a 30% sales tax on everything you buy. Everything. And Sessler wants taxes and fees to make meat and sugar more expensive. I could never vote for Jared Sessler. He wants to decide what we should eat. That hurts our farmers and our families. Jared Sessler's sales tax and fees. More expensive for you. And unacceptable for Central Washington. I'm Dan Newhouse, and I approve this message. I had surgery as a child that I barely remember. But decades later, the insurance company called that a pre-existing condition and denied me long-term care insurance. Washington State created a long-term care benefit to help millions of people like me afford the care we need. But I-2124 will take that benefit away, leaving millions with no way to get or afford long-term care. If it can happen to me, it can happen to anybody. That's why we all have to vote no on I-2124. Life's too short to put up with a bad bank. You have a life, places to go, people to see, and things to get done. You don't have time for banks or credit unions that don't care. You deserve better. At Yakima Federal Savings and Loan, we've served Central Washington and the Columbia Basin since 1905 with 10 branches, face-to-face -face service, and a five-star app when you're on the go. So go have fun. Do what makes you happy. Life's too short to put up with anything less. Bank better with Yakima Federal. Swing into Fred's Appliance today and discover unbeatable deals on the largest selection of in-stock get-it-today inventory in our region. Introducing the new Electrolux 700 Series Alpine Green Washer and Dryer, an industry-exclusive two ways to sanitize. Remove bacteria and sanitize your way with the cold sanitize option paired with Lysol Laundry Sanitizer or use the NSF Certified Hot Sanitize Setting, the most efficient washer on the market. At Fred's, we sell appliances, only appliances. For 17 years, Senator Curtis King has delivered for you. That's why the media calls Curtis King the Republican in Olympia most likely to pass a bill. Senator King uses those relationships to do things like fund a new swimming pool in Yakima's MLK Park and help Heritage University in the Lower Valley grow. Curtis King helped Hoppenish Astria Hospital keep their doors open. And he delivered funding for Pasco's Lewis Street Project. 
I'm Curtis King, and I'd appreciate your vote. There's no place like home, because Saturday night is hockey night in Seatown. As the Kraken look to pour cold water on the Red Hot Flames. Kraken. Flames. Free game at 6.30, Saturday night on MeTV. Back now with the spotlight, and tonight it's on a Pasco native who is now making big strides in the Navy. Petty Officer First Class Mercedes Petra Brodsky is a Pasco High graduate, class of 2014. She is a builder currently serving with Naval Construction Training Center headquarters. Brodsky is part of a team nicknamed Seabees, responsible for building military bases, airfields, and doing underwater construction projects. Brodsky has been serving for 10 years in the Navy. All right, coming up next, we have our amazing weather photo. You don't want to miss this one. All right. Fall colors. Fly the Northwest. Apple Valley News Now at 6 Tuesday. Dirty tactics and lies have become a staple of American politics. But I'm not a regular politician. I'm Jared Sessler, and I approve this message. Dan Newhouse is spending millions of dollars to spread outright lies about me. President Trump needs an ally in Congress who will join his fight to lower taxes, fix the economy, and restore traditional American values. I've been endorsed by President Trump and the House Freedom Caucus, but more importantly, I'm endorsed by you, the people who handed me a decisive victory in the August primary. So vote for the conservative we deserve. Liberal Democrats, Maria Beltran, Anna Kennedy, and Chelsea Demas support even no questions asked, late-term abortions. They oppose measures that would lower taxes, make gas cheaper, and let you take home more of your paycheck. They would make your streets less safe, raise your gas prices, and encourage your children to disrespect faith, family, and America. Seattle Liberals, Maria Beltran, Anna Kennedy, and Chelsea Demas do not share your values and are too extreme for Central Washington. 18 years, 32 years, 20 years, 35 years. A job not only supports a family, but it gives you dignity. I'm Maria Beltran. With warehouses closing and hundreds of jobs lost, it's time we elect a fighter. Like so many of us, my family struggles to keep up with the cost of groceries and afford rent. Your family's struggles are my family's struggles. I'll work hard for you in Olympia. Paid for by friends Maria Beltran. Goodwill provides opportunities for those that might have barriers to employment. Those barriers could be disabilities all the way up to recently incarcerated. And our job is to find a way to give these folks the skills to find gainful employment in the community. We provide such a wide variety of training. Our ECC organizations can get somebody a job. The relationships that are built through those programs gives these organizations a longtime employee if they so wish. Goodwill, your Halloween headquarters. For 17 years, Senator Curtis King has delivered for you. That's why the media calls Curtis King the Republican in Olympia most likely to pass a bill. Senator King helped fund the Sozo Soccer Complex, giving local youth and adult soccer players a world-class recreational facility. Curtis King helped Perry Tech expand, providing thousands of local students with real-world skills. And he delivered funding for dozens of local road projects. I'm Curtis King, and I'd appreciate your vote. A Northwest artist talks about the fall colors of her North Idaho home. Here you get like the bright orange and yellows and then you'll see that reflected in the lake. So we just have so many amazing scenes around here. Fly the Northwest. Apple Valley News Now at 6 Tuesday. Next DT. That's a nice legacy. Only we're with the cast of Blue Bloods for their final season. <laughs> Plus, we're tracking Justin Hartley's TV reunion with Jensen Ackles. He still smells delicious. Next DT. Tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. I am ready to see this really cool viewer photo. This today. is a spectacular viewer photo, and maybe you knew this and maybe you didn't, but a comet oh. swung through our area the other night. So there's the comet with a shooting star. If you look closely, that's uh, Sean Swanson grabbed these photos the other night in Richland. So good stuff there, Sean. Thanks for sending that in to get your photo on TV. QR code right side of your screen or you can go to applevalleynewsnow.com. All right, let's count down some of the holidays. Uh, I, I had to look at this to. today. I know there were 
41 days till Thanksgiving, 13 days till we're trick or treating, yep. and 68 days till Christmas. There are only 75 days left of 2024. Or technically, 74 days left. Pretty much of now. 2024. Yeah. All right, here's uh, what the bottom line says small shower chances on Saturday. We're going to be warmer over the weekend, a good 10 to 15 degrees above the average, and get ready for cooler and much wetter uh, weather beginning late Sunday into Monday. So that's pretty much what we got going on this weekend. Enjoy the 70s, though. I yep. know I am. I will be at the Pasco Farmers Market right. tomorrow from noon to 2 for okay. the taco sprint come get your tickets and we'll say hi we'll talk more about we'll that we'll talk at six. about it we'll talk about it at six <laughs> updates at applevalleynewsnow.com austin reed with stacy lee hoping your news is good news